Hello guys, my name is Atherion and today we're gonna play the last part of the second episode of The Walking Dead's mission. I remember from the last time that we managed to escape from Merlin community in a badass way and we had to run from them to save our lives, so we decided to head to Sam's house but unfortunately Sam was being sad. So when we reached the house we had to grab the bullet from her and give some explanation to her father. But now I think it is time to continue, so let us head to the story and thank you all for watching. Okay, if I remember right, we saw Robo here, after all the situation about Sam's taking the bullet off. And uh, let's go and pick it up. I think maybe it's time to see what's going on on that scene with the Masson's girls and see finally this door where if they're there or I don't know. So let's open this door and see Colette. what Colette Elodie? Elodie. So that the names of the here? girls. Uh it looks empty. Elodie. 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 And Colette. Colette. Okay. Uh, look at Child's bed. Stop wiping your face, Michelle. Uh, what do we have here? A painting. I think that is a tiger. I don't know. Oh, we find paints floats, huh? Hmm. That actually may lead us somewhere to see what's going on with the girls. Huh? Okay, that goes out of this room. Uh huh. Oh. We found sneakers, Sue's here. Do we have something else to look at in that room? No. Okay, we need to find some trails to see what's going on with the girls, because... Uh, oh, that is a broken window. And some fingerprints, I think... I don't know. I have to figure out, I have to find more leads about it. We have a family photo. Uh, this guy's our husband, I guess, or our ex. Let's knock on this door first. No answer, so let's open this door and see. Girls? You in here? Well, it's too quiet. I don't think that the girls are here either. Well, let's see what we got. A mirror. Okay, it's our face. Weird expressions for you, Misson. Uh, nothing in the drawer. Huh? Let's see. I don't see something here. Let's go to the toilet. Look at bloody bandages. I don't like this shit. Yeah. Um, sorry, curtain, huh? Before we do that, let's see if we got something else. No. Okay. Look at first. That reminds me a kind of horror movie. Where you open the curtain and you find a killer inside. But we are strong enough to see what's going on. Oh. Just a duck, okay? Just a cute duck that enjoys itself in a bath. <sighs> but why with no water? That's strange. Who knows, maybe that duck don't like water after all. Or maybe it's a puzzle which... I love puzzles, so... 
let's find some evidence about the no water duck than our girls. Okay? Oh, that's a shame. Nobody ate this delicious well done Zobi meat. My cooking skills in this world are useless. Look at this mess outside. Oh god. Oh, these are stains, but blood stains? See the drawers over there? We're getting close. Oh, furnace. Suitcase. Yeah, that is definitely one of the girl's suitcase. Because it looks funny. Let's unzip it and see what's inside. Whoa. You left this all behind. So they left their clothes. Let's see that zombie. Oh, we got a phone. Okay, is, is that a phone call? Relax, my son. It's only a phone call, just... Oh, I don't like those footsteps. Something's going on here. Let me... Uh, go after a stranger to see what's going on. Hey, stop! Wait! Don't, don't come any closer! Who are you? Uh, I need your help. Listen, I need your help. With what? Well, the bad thing is that the phone is not ringing anymore. We don't... We don't have a lot of time. Have you seen two little girls? My uh -huh. daughters, they lived here with their dad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know them. You do? El... Uh, Elodie and... Uh, Colette? Yes. I haven't seen them, though. Look, we really can't be here, okay? They'll find us. I barely got back in. How do you know my girls? Neighbors. Uh, my husband and I babysat a few times. Oh. Nice kids. Uh, thanks, I guess. No. Well, that was... Um, maybe that was a wrong decision to follow that stranger and not answering the phone, because... Uh, Who were you talking to? Yeah, because we changed the scene now, and I think it's too late for fighting trails about the girls. Oh god. I should answer the phone, I guess. Yeah, I was talking to myself and I'm still talking to myself. What's your problem? <laughs> Is Sam alright? You okay? Um Yeah, I just remember someone. someone I once knew. It's okay. I do that too. Yeah, I'm not the only one, huh? John, he... He went to talk to the kids, make sure they're alright. While I watched over you. You watched over me? Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. How are the kids holding up? I don't know. Can't be good. Yeah, I Brother's imagine. dead, sister's shot. What else, huh? I mean, fuck, right? Yep. Hey, listen, do you have any duck in the sour? So, yeah, this is where I apologize for almost shooting you. <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy decision for you. Emphasis on almost. I was just worried. Um, no. About no Sam. hard feelings. Don't worry about it. Happens more often than I like to admit. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. <laughs> Thank God, in that case. That patch of dirt? His mom's buried there. No. A year or so back, she just... 
she was sick. Not in the head. Something with her heart. Oh. Damn, I wish I got more time to find some evidence for my girls and to answer that phone call. I hope my choice don't change the fate of the girls. She couldn't handle but it, we'll I guess. See. I never understood that. Well, I tried the same thing. thing. Yeah. But, but a friend stopped me. Time to be honest, I guess. I've thought about it. How could you not? <laughs> But like I said, bad shot. <laughs> if it wasn't for Sam... No. No, Sam. I need more time. More. He's not Sam. Let's go and see. No. No. Oh, I'm here, Sam. You're bad dreaming. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. <sighs> Sam, no. No, Sam. Bad girl. <laughs> Mission, we have to help him. Who, Craig? You don't remember Too what weak. happened? Hold me up. Just stay down, Sam. I need to help him. Yeah, you're hallucinating. You're hallucinating, Sam. I, I, I Greg isn't here, okay? Try to remember. Sam. Who's there? Oh. Well, I didn't expect you have a long hair, dude. Nice ponytail. <laughs> I know John can make a strong first impression, but he's what's keeping this entire family from being buried out there. You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Right. Something that makes all this shit worth it. Fight until the day you die. Yeah. Fight until the day you die. Never give up. And that's a strong real message. You'd be crazy to stay here, John. This woman normally will... There's no decision to be made on this. What happened here? I need here? a word with you. Oh. Okay. In private. In private. Alright. Do I have to be afraid of him? Ah, uh, I don't think so. I miss some, so I can't take care of myself, so no worries. Uh, do I have to follow you, man? Do I have to stay in the rain? Do you have children? A yeah. son? I do. Two little girls. Two little girls and a duck. And if the duck was here right now outside in the rain, it would be a very happy duck. <sighs> Mom, we love you. Hmm. It snowed the day my wife died. Oh. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. In the snow. It covered her grave. We erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. Sam never really mentioned yeah. it. Yeah. I imagine not. After finding her like that. But Sam stepped up after that. Risked her life to bring us food, medicine. It should have been me out there. Oh, well, maybe. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from harm. But we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's... I could really use your help. Your friend Pete told me all about Norma. About what happened. If she finds us... We wouldn't stand a chance. So we'll have to... But you seem like someone who can hold their own. Sam said you could help me. If you do that, I'll give you guys a hand. Yeah. Anything. Help me and help Whatever you. Whatever you need.
children shouldn't have to see this. What the hand? Just leave it as it is. I'll throw it. He never turned into one of these things, did he? Are those? Well, I'm not going to say that he was He's at peace a now. worker, yeah. <gasps> Thank God. You don't have to open the door, man, to throw a hand. No, it's not the time, Pete. I... I'm sorry. For what? I'm trying to keep it together. You have to. You're a father. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? You got kids, man. Oh. Oh. And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? You have to... Your kids need you to stay yeah. strong. You're right. I'm all they have. Oh! Shit! They killed him. I don't believe this. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. You son of a bitch. Oh man, I have to kill him somehow. He's a devil itself. Don't care about people, nothing. Oh, 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 I don't like this scene. No, no, no. Just prepare yourself and don't get outside. Uh, let's see what I can do now. Attack this guy over there. I'll take the one near the garden. Careful, Pete. I don't want to lose you, too. Oh, we got traps inside, huh? That's great. But I have to make him start up. Oh, I... don't use the flat to me. It's your gun. You have to. Oh, God! His face looks like a walker already. Oh, we need to be fast. He's rather gonna find us. Oh. I have to save her. No one will die. Again. Only you, Randall. Oh, damn it. I lost my weapon. Pete, be careful. I want to lose you too, man. Take this son of a bitch, you mother! Oh. Oh, 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 oh! I get bitten now. Damn it! Yeah, take the over to his head. Damn it! I'm kind of dizzy. Oh. oh, oh. Did I broke my arm right now? Damn! I'm gonna make a new face lifting. It's free. Because you earn it. Yeah, keep it up. Damn it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I like the way you're thinking. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll see your fucking brain. You asshole. You alright? Not dead yet. Uh, uh, you? Uh, I got a broken arm, a thing. What? You want me to repair that? Uh, I don't like the sound. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do it. Let's do that again. Ah. Gross. Okay, let me take my weapon. Give me that, please. Now we have business to do. 
Get that asshole over there. It's too late for your hands right now. Oh, shit. Huh. You must be pretty proud of yourself, huh? Cut yourself a golden goose. If you think I'm shitting any eggs, forget it. I'm asking the questions. Uh huh. Say now, won't this be fun? That's up to you. Hmm, let's take this away from him. Now, let's see what options we got for this dude. Hmm, let's ask about Norma. Does Norma know we're here? She doesn't even know I'm here. Otherwise, you'd be hearing a neighborly knock on your door right about now. Randall? Randall, are you getting that? Speak of a devil, huh? Want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Oh. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michelle. Don't make the same mistake. Uh, let's you make Randall her. answer. Randall needs to check in. You know... This feels mighty familiar, except you're there, and I'm here. So, Miss Shum, what do you want me to say to her? On account of me hoping to avoid more broken fingers. Tell her everything. Your Call off your anything. sister, actually. Oh no. Like she Tell said, her. check in. Yeah, check in. Let her know you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll play nice. Let's see about that. Hey, Norma. Randall, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's That's fine. That's enough. Hey! I wasn't finished. I don't care, man. I was doing what you said, Michelle. You said enough. You said all you needed yeah. to. Nice try. Randall? I lost you. Thank you, clever girl, huh? Norma will know something's wrong soon enough. And if I can find you, she'll find you. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. Why I have to listen to you right now? Last but not least. You're trying to mess in our heads? Those kitties too. And the kitties. Yeah, I know that you are I fucking killer. In the window. Without care. <sighs> what I have to do with him? Kids. You know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt. I have to hit you, man. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> I hit a button. No, you hit your head Sean? actually. Some well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Sean? Is that true? Yep. Please tell me he's fucking with us. Nope. Randall murdered your dad, Sam. <laughs> Unfortunately. No. No. Jane! <laughs> if he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Shown's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a uh, fuck. I don't know what to answer right now, but Rando has more value if he's alive. Gives us something to bargain with when Norma gets Listen here. Listen to me. That won't work. They only bargain with bullets. Well, I guess you're right. All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him, or I will. Okay, I got the message. Um, Sam, wait! I'm trying... Uh, guys, I'm... No matter what I say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made a... Oh, you left me too, Pete? Oh, great. Great. Well... <laughs> I ain't had the bell of the ball. 
Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Uh huh. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. Huh. You like killing. Then you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You won't hurt my feelings. You're right about that. You're right, but it not exactly right. The open, don't it? I don't like killing, but well, I, I would like to kill maybe you. Because you, you don't you deserve to be alive. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. There's still a chance we can make things better. Don't tell me you still believe that lie, Michonne. So we don't have any chance, huh? Than to kill you then. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michonne. What? Oh. <gasps> How'd that happen? See myself. Or die. Or are in that rockin' purgatory. Oh. Shut up. Don't talk about them. Either way, they're suffering. You messing with my head. And mommy isn't there. We all have our demons. I'm gonna kill him, sorry about that guys, I don't find any other solution, that is not option 2 but I don't want him to be alive here either. Oh man, I break his skull, oh, ew. That was it? Holy damn, let's see what happens next then. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. Mm. And those can be mean, nasty. You want to believe all lives and oh. make their set purpose. They're raiding us. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. So we're gonna fight till the end. Okay, let's see our choices. Do you keep Pete with you or let him go on his own? You and Eddie, 2.5% of players stop Pete. That's good. Did you pick up the phone or go after the footsteps in the hallway? You and 25 points. 4% of players went to see who or what was in the hallway, which is not my best choice here. Did you reveal to Paige that you know near lay committed suicide? You and 35% of players disclosed your darkest moment. I think that choice was honest, so I think that is choice is right. Anyway, how did you handle the radio call from Norma? Um, you and 57.4% of players chose to make Randall speak to her. Which I think we made here too the right choice. Okay, what did you do to Randall? You and 53.1% of players bust Randall's head in. So, a lot of people killed Randall. I was too worried about that, I was not sure what to do, I was... Uh, giving sometimes hope to myself that's why I make some choices that we can negotiate somehow but when Randa told us that if he's going to die we're gonna be messed up and even if he's not um, the same you know no other way out so I think we are on the most people that uh, kill him anyway guys uh, that's the end of The Walking Dead's Misson Episode 2. 
I can't wait to play the next episode because the story left us in a very serious mother of events. Can we survive this upcoming raid? Did we deal the right sources? At least the most of them because I think I made many wrong decisions but let's see if we can make it through till the end. Is Runner gonna be a walker? Can we avoid any more death from our team? Or are we gonna head to our ship again? We got a lot of questions to be solved and I'm curious to see how the story ends on the third and last episode of The Walking Dead Mission. If you wanna see more of this game let me know by commenting below and leaving a like. Also don't forget to subscribe to support me. Thank you for watching guys and thanks for making our community bigger. So until next time everybody, take care, bye bye.